Today I've got some incredible news that's going to get all you murder mystery fans fired up. If you loved the first season of Sherwood, well, buckle up, because we finally have a release date for Sherwood Season 2, and it's just around the corner. Sherwood Season 2 is coming to BritBox on November 14, and honestly, I can't wait. This British crime drama really knocked it out of the park in its first season, and the fact that it's based on real-life events makes it all the more gripping. Today we're diving deep into what you can expect from the second season, and trust me, it's going to be a roller coaster of emotions, mystery, and some seriously intense drama. But first, let's talk about what made the first season so special, shall we? For those of you who might be new to Sherwood, let me catch you up. This show isn't just your average Hodunit. Nope, nope. It's got layers upon layers of emotional depth, political tension, and history, all tied to real events that shook the community in Nottinghamshire back in 2004. In the first season, we follow the investigation into the brutal murder of former union activist Gary Jackson, played by the brilliant Aloon Armstrong. And who's at the forefront of this investigation? None other than David Morrissey. You might recognize him from The Walking Dead, who plays DCS INS to Claire, a seasoned detective unraveling not just the murder, but the deeply rooted conflicts in this small mining village. These aren't just personal or family feuds. We're talking about divisions that date all the way back to the miners' strike of the 1980s. And here's where it gets really interesting. James Graham, the creator of the show, grew up near Nottinghamshire. This isn't just a random story he's telling. It's deeply personal. He lived through the aftermath of the miners' strikes, and that's why Sherwood feels so authentic. It's fictional, but it's absolutely steeped in the real-life tension and heartbreak of the community. In fact, the family of Keith Froggy Frogson, a real-life victim in the 2004 tragedy that inspired this show, were even consulted during production. This series has real pain at its core, and that's part of what makes it so powerful. But now that we're gearing up for season two, things are about to get even more intense. So let's jump into what we know about the new season, all right, here's where things get juicy. Season two of Sherwood is set to pick up right where we left off, with a fresh murder that sends shockwaves through the community once again. And this time, it's not just about one family or one crime. No, no, no. We're talking turf wars, deep-seated rivalries, and betrayal that's going to leave you gasping for air. According to the plot synopsis, we've got two new families coming into the mix, and these families are going to stir up some serious trouble, getting tangled with the sparrows. Yes, the same sparrows we met in season one, and reigniting all the bad blood that's been bubbling under the surface of this small town. But here's the kicker. While our beloved detective Ian S. Clare, played by David Morrissey, is back, he's no longer on the front lines of the investigation. That's right, right? There's a new sheriff in town, and things are about to get tense. And this new character is bringing with them some serious baggage, because they're concerned about the opening of a new controversial mine in the area. Now, if you watched season one, you know that the mining community is at the heart of Sherwood. The scars from the miners' strikes haven't healed, and reopening a mine is like throwing gasoline on an already smouldering fire. The tension, the history, the politics, it's all coming to a head in season two and it's going to test this community in ways they've never been tested before. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate how Sherwood brings real history into its fictional narrative. Like I said earlier, this show is inspired by real-life events, but it's not a one-to-one -one adaptation. It's more like a spiritual reflection of the true story, but with all the heartache and emotional complexity that those real events carried with them. James Graham has been very open about how personal this story is to him, he grew up near Nottinghamshire, and he witnessed firsthand the lasting effects of the miners' strike. In fact, the murder that kicks off the entire series is loosely inspired by the 2004 killing of Keith Froggy Frogson, a former miner who was brutally attacked with a samurai sword and a crossbow. I know, right? That's some seriously chilling stuff. And what makes Sherwood so compelling is how it explores the ripple effects of that violence. The show doesn't just focus on the crime itself. It digs deep into the emotional and psychological toll it takes on the entire community. The pain and division left by the strike and its aftermath are still raw, and you can feel that weight in every scene. 
David Morris's portrayal of Ionest Clare really brings that pain to life. He's not just a detective trying to solve a case. He's a man caught between the past and the present, trying to heal a community that's been shattered for decades. Morrissey worked closely with historian Harry Patterson to make sure his performance was as authentic as possible, and you can really see that attention to detail in the way he carries the character. He's haunted by the past, and that inner turmoil makes the investigation all the more gripping. Now, let's talk about why Sherwood is such a standout in the world of British crime dramas. I mean, the UK is known for its murder mysteries, right? Shows like Broadchurch, Line of Duty and Luther have set the bar pretty high. But Sherwood manages to carve out its own space by doing something a little bit different. First of all, it's not just about the crime. Yes, the murder is central to the plot, but what really sets Sherwood apart is how it delves into the complex relationships between the people in this small town. These are real people with real histories, and their lives are intertwined in ways that make the story so much more than just a mystery to solve. It's about community, loyalty, betrayal, and the long-lasting effects of political and social conflict. It's a show that forces you to think about how the past shapes the present and how old wounds can still have the power to tear people apart. And let's not forget about the setting. Nottinghamshire, with its working-class roots and its history of labour struggles, provides the perfect backdrop for this kind of story. The landscape itself feels like a character. It's gritty, it's tough, and it's filled with memories of a time when the community was torn apart by the strike. You can feel the weight of that history in every shot, and it adds so much depth to the story. OK, so why should you be excited for Sherwood Season 2? Well, if you loved the first season's slow-burn mystery, deep character development and powerful performances, then season two is going to deliver all of that and more. The stakes are higher this time around, with new characters, new conflicts, and a whole lot more tension simmering just below the surface. The fact that Ionest Clare isn't leading the charge this time adds a new dynamic to the show. He's still there, of course, but having a new detective step in is going to shake things up plus the introduction of a new mine opening in the area, that's going to throw this already fragile community into chaos. I'm also really intrigued by the new families being introduced. Who are they? Ah, are they? What's their connection to the sparrows? And how are they going to change the dynamics of the town? There are so many questions, and I'm sure the answers are going to be explosive. And let's not forget the heart of the show, the emotional depth. This isn't just about solving a crime. It's about dealing with the long-term impact of trauma and how people struggle to move forward when the past is still very much a part of their present. The characters in Sherwood aren't just trying to solve a mystery, they're trying to heal, and that's what makes this show so special. So, mark your calendars, everyone. November 14 is the day Sherwood Season 2 drops on BritBox, and it's going to be one wild ride. Whether you're here for the mystery, the drama, or the incredible performances, this season is shaping up to be even more intense and emotional than the first. If you haven't seen season one yet, now is the perfect time to catch up. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this series. And if you're already a fan, then get ready because season two is going to blow your mind. That's it for today's video. If you're as excited about Sherwood season two as I am, hit that like button Drop a comment below with your predictions for the new season, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on your favorite shows and movies. See you in the next video.